So every now and then I go back and read comments. And sometimes the comment makes me want to, you know, say something. So, several months ago I did this video that I'm commenting on right now. And I reiterate, nobody deserves to be murdered. And if the cop wasn't asked, then the cop wasn't asked. Okay? Period. Nobody deserves to be murdered. And don't nobody deserve to be called a drunk and a nigger and all this stupid ass shit. So these people who are writing on the bottom of the video that I'm commenting to, they're stupid. If you have someone saying something positive, even though the situation is sad and negative, because don't nobody deserve to die. Not even the asshole cops. That's what you got laws for. The laws work both ways. Mm, excuse me. So, people said, people lose a lot of respect for me when I drink. Well, I don't drink that much. I drink whatever I want to. I don't drink that much. So every now and then, you might see me have a drink in a video. Who cares? How do you even know if it's alcohol? Can't show somebody drinking real alcohol on TV. What makes you think I don't follow the rules? Hmm. Think about it. Am I smoking joints or doing methamphetamine? No, I don't do that. Don't stereotype me. That goes for white people, black people, and whoever else watches my fucking videos. If you want to stereotype me, apply the stereotype that best fits you to everybody in your family and then you see how they like it when you walk around the house calling them niggers or crackers or meth heads or crank heads or coke heads, whatever the fuck you do. Do me a favor. If you begin to watch an AIX video and you don't like it, stop right there and go find some other videos to watch because I'm going to give you my opinion. If I'm wrong, you get your video camera and say, hey, man, you're wrong. Now, read some of the comments that are on my videos. Don't even have to watch the video. Just read the comments. And you can see the difference between respect and non-respect. Like I said, you got a black man grab the camera and tell you that this police officer shouldn't have been killed. How many times a week you hear somebody black say something positive? How many times a week do you see somebody black doing something wrong? How many times a week do you see negativity? So before you go spew and spout and stuff that makes no sense to no one but yourself, understand what I say when I say things in my videos. I believe every man is created equally. I believe God lives inside each and every one of us. And I believe we'll not be free or not see any light of day or respect for each other until we figure these small things out that keep our minds from understanding other people other than ourselves or our own kind. So for the simple-minded people out there who say I was wrong in that video, that's your opinion. For those people who had negative things to say and want to call me out my name, my name is Alonzo. You can call me Mr. H. And I don't give a damn about you. So your little pitily minimized stupid ass insults make no sense. If somebody is dead drunk talking, saying something positive, does that take the, the sting from what they're saying because they appear to be drunk or you think they're drunk? Hmm. That's so funny because um, a lot of people on YouTube a lot of veterans on YouTube and a lot of rookies. See, these rookies, this is what the rookies go through right now. The rookies will grab the camera and they'll read the stuff on the bottom of the screen and they'll be like, show your face, show your face. And if you look at some of my older videos, I did the same thing. I'm not worried about you motherfuckers showing your faces no more because you're faceless, you're nameless, and you're pitiful. If you have an opinion, grow some balls or get your horns out your ass, young lady, or whoever the hell you are, whatever you are. Grab your camera and say what you got to say. It's easily easy. It's easily easy to type stuff down that makes no sense and, and ridicule and disrespect. You will be a bigger person if you said everything that you said when you typed it down with your camera showing your face. But like any coward or any, you know, scarified person I'm speaking ebonically oh well oh you understand what I'm saying with any scared person or chicken-hearted person or yellow striped down the back ass person 
they always talk bigger than they are. See, I'm different than that. I don't talk bigger than I am. I walk bigger than I am. I move bigger than I am. I'm beyond my means all the time. You must be bigger than life. Braver than brave. In order to sit here, day after day, looking right at a little red dot and speaking. Only the scared cowardly like you can't do this. And even when you do do it, you don't have the guts to say what you typed. For all those who have negative things to say about this video or any other video, dig deep down inside yourself and find a way to get the courage and the guts and the nerve to bring it, film it, let it happen. Because as long as you're hiding behind your words, you're still hiding. You can call me a million different names on a million different websites, but you cannot defeat or replace me. It's so funny. Sitting here having a conversation with nobody. Trying to teach somebody something. Just to get a point across. I'm reading comments today, and I'm uploading videos. Let's see how many more times people make me comment today while I'm reading comments. Normally I only read comments from my friends because I know these people have a respect like no other. They're white, they're black, they're Mexican, they're Asian, oh, they're even European blacks, European. People from all over the world watch my videos. I'm featured on over 100 websites dedicated to my videos because somebody out there thinks they're worth hearing, drunk or not. So why don't you go get your little crank pipe, your crack pipe, and your sister go have a couple beers and party with her like you normally do. But other than that, I want to tell those people out there who love me, I love you too. I want to tell those people out there who hate me, I love you too. I want to tell those people out there who have no respect for me, I love you too. And for those people out there who don't mail me, well, I love you too. Because without somebody giving you people out there some love, you gets no love. You deserve no love. And one thing about the real AIX, baby... I don't hate nobody. I might dislike you, but I got no hate for nobody. Not a white man, not another black man, and not any other race or nationality. No man scares me, and I'm afraid of no one. So please, if you got some negativity to spout, spit it out your mouth. Because I'm tired of reading dumb shit. I don't like to read. So please, take it easy on the heavy words. Because all they do in the end is draw attention to you and your page. Now, I'm the real AIX, not the fake AIX and not AIX. The real AIX. So if I'm sitting here smoking a cigarette and I don't smoke, it's because I'm really mad and angry. If I'm sitting here having a drink, it's because I'm stressed out or I just want to have a drink. But remember one thing. You're only as smart as your smartest statements on YouTube. You're only as brave as your bravest deeds you've ever done in real life. And you're only as cool as you think you are. But for those who type nonsensical bullshit, you can never be real. You need a lot more growing up to do. But you can walk 15 minutes in my shoes. You've been tubed. Come on, doggy.